up? So it's your girl April and this video is all about Wild Africans lace front. So before I even get into the tutorial of this video or show you how I put it on and style it, I am going to show you how I actually styled this, styled it on a mannequin head prior to this portion. So just be leery or aware of that. So this is their 18 inch wavy Beyonce ombre. So when it first came to me, I really wasn't like a big fan of the curl pattern and I wanted to just kind of like change it up but I really didn't feel like washing away and going and doing all of those extra steps so I went ahead and used some of my styling moves which I'm going to show you right now in the video so stay tuned for that it's just going to be a really quick tutorial on how I styled this and got out like kind of like the factory janky curls to my particular version of wavy curls yeah. okay so it's supposed to be like the Beyonce one that already came pre-styled and the curls were like kind of like janky looking I really didn't like how the curls looked so I put it on my tripod this is just a tripod um, it's actually for lights you know what I'm saying like you put your studio lights on your camera lights whatever but I wrapped some tape around it so that I could put my mannequin head so I didn't really want to rewash the wig and if I just left it like this it'd give it more body so it's a lace front it's 18 inches so first thing I did I already did one side this is the original curls that it came in kind of like all over the place factory curls and this is the curls that I did so you can see the hair is much elongated and the curls look a lot better and I've been using this which is the cream of nature argon oil from um, styling mousse and I did have to repart it they had like this middle part in it pre tweeds I really didn't like that either so I'm gonna just put this on the hair The hot iron that I'm using is this one right here, which is a from uh, Irresistible Me, and it's the Sapphire Collection. Comes with eight, so I love it. into this wig so I already went ahead and cut the lace off and as you've seen I did um, situate it I did put styling moves to where I wanted my part at because they had kind of like a pre tweeze part in the middle and I really wasn't feeling the middle part so I decided to put it on the side so for the purpose of this video I'm gonna try out this um, a wig grip comfort band everybody been raving about these has been raving and raving and raving about them so I went on Amazon and I purchased this one and it does have like the velcro grip now I've seen people say how they didn't really like it because it kind of like you you just need to make sure you wear a stocking cap basically <laughs> We're going to see how tight this thing is. It's supposed to make your wig sit still. 
So we're going to see about that. And the unit does come with, um, like I said, it's a lace front wig. So it has three combs in the front. They have the comb in the middle, which I have yet to remove because I really don't like them. And the comb in the nape and the adjustable straps. For my part, I didn't even tweeze it, but the pre-plucked part is somewhat like visible. So I'm going to just take a little bit of my concealer. So this time around, I didn't even sew... Um, elastic band on it because I really wanted to try out this wig grip thing. I wanted to see what everybody was talking about. Okay, so what I noticed is like, maybe I had it pulled up too far because I cannot put my combs in. Wow, African did an amazing replica of the hair color. Okay, so I'm thinking this is 20 inches because of where it is. So I like the color. Like, this color is pretty. I don't know if I would want so much of it. So I like the fact that it's not a lot of it. Now as for this wig grip thing, like it does keep your wig from moving and slipping back great. But I can't put my combs in because it's like right in the way. So if you have a unit with combs on it, you're not going to be able to situate the combs. But wow, African, okay, I'm saying come through, come through. I wasn't like a huge fan of the curls that came with it. It was kind of like, to me, kind of factory curls. You got to do your own thing. I could have washed it, but I just rather have went ahead and just used my own wand. Like you see in the video, and it made a big difference. Um, So when I pull these apart, like finger combing, because I would suggest finger combing curls like this, not raking through with a brush, or maybe even a wide tooth comb, but I just feel a lot more safer using my hands opposed to an actual brush or comb. Um, Using my fingers allows me allows me to, you know, fluff the wig up to the density that I want it. Now, as for the pair line, it is a little bit thin. It could probably use a little bit more thinning out. It's one hundred and thirty percent density, so this is a wavy style. It has no baby hairs, but it did have baby hairs actually. So I'm not really sure why it says that on the website, but it does actually have baby hairs. Some of them I pulled down, but mainly I used my own baby hairs. Like this the color is bomb all the way bomb like the color i think they did like an amazing job on the color for one you know what i'm saying they did like a really nice job on this color i have not done a wig video with wild african in a minute but they do have some really really nice units for sure for sure check out their clearance section they have loads of clearance rigs so yes you guys make sure you check them out let me know what you think of this beyonce her is it beyonce approved or is it just diva approved yes all the information and any kind of codes or anything that i have will be posted below for you guys for wowafrican.com or wowafricanwigs.com i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you think make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs this video up because you love me and i will see you guys in a soon to come video. Oh,